got it. I figured out how we're going to rent this one. Our rent is $17.50 a month, which means you should owe two five seventy dollars each. But you just got a raise at your Chase Bank internship while my parents stay the same. And Amelia is still unemployed. And her parents think I'm going to check December 7th, which is a week after the rent is due. And we were late last time, so we can't be late again this time. So that would mean you would owe roughly $6.50. <coughs> Oh! 
friend dumped him and came to me instead. Because he's a drunk and off his head, now he wants to see me dead. <coughs> But either way, I loved and who loved him. And before we die, I must confront. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> to the big, big apple so I could take a bite. <laughs> Well, the world's gonna end tonight. I think we should do something. <laughs> a movie? We're dying tonight, Johnny. Okay. Well, at least we wouldn't have to pay. Welcome to the time. It's funny how today marks our seventh most year. And we're kind of stuck. <laughs> Are we cursed? I think so. <laughs> Should we get married? Uh, I think all the priests are probably in confession right now. <laughs> <laughs> I
love, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of don't want to believe it, but NASA says it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. Jessica didn't seem worried at all, but I'm so worried. I'm just like, I can't even talk to her about it. I'm glad we came back. Yeah. Um, and it's not, and we haven't even been connecting lately. It's like she's off and on with the world. It's funny, because I was actually thinking about sticking up with her, but now that the world's going to end. I'm just glad that you came by, and then I got to know somebody else from the court, so. Court. Huh? Look, Johnny, I was scared before, but since the world is ending and we're going to die anyways, I'm just going to say it. It's been on my mind for such a long time, and I can't go without you knowing. All right. Say it. <laughs> I hate you. What? Oh. Uh, yeah, there, I said it. I hate you. What are you talking about? distancing because we went from the closer and I didn't know if you felt the same way back. I mean, I couldn't leave her if I didn't know that you loved me too.
go. We don't have a ride at a better time. The death coming so soon. Who better than him to be the father? What's that body do? Paul! Nanny! What are you doing here? We're gonna our sister talk to me too. She told me where you were. What happened to you? We prefer the term not yet housebroken. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Idiots. Yeah, Polly. Who is this joker? There's no one. Please, Annie. Let's go. You might be too prideful to die to speak to your own brother, but I don't want to cramp my conscience. Yes! Brother? <laughs> what brother? Be the brother who stole his brother's girl the night he was going to propose to her. That's a brother to me. Listen, Paul. I've come to confront you. If not brother to brother, then man to man. I didn't take Sarah from you. You made her run away. So the guy's screwing her. So is it for you to turn me into the bad guy, isn't it? Frankly, yes, it is. Do, do you think she ever wanted to be with some drunk? Was it ever peachy? He's face it, Paul. You treated her like shit. The drinking, the neglect. You think she would ever marry you? I'm warning you, Manny. I got a lot of broken beer bottles around here. <laughs> I don't care. We're about to die, and I'm here telling you this right now, so you don't look as pathetic as you do to me right now. Maybe there's a reason she likes me more. I don't drink. I have a job. Watch it, baby. I don't give up on life the way you do. I swear. Maybe she likes me more because I'm like a better version of you. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs>